Welcome to the Hive O'Clock News. Coming to you high from downtown Los Angeles. The Hive O'Clock News. Produced by the King Bee of Hiveland. Hearing the origins of a lot of this that you've done, coming from your childhood, what engaged you, what inspired you, and what, uh, what turned you on as, as kids for what you enjoyed watching, I would say that you haven't yet grown up. Have you taken a conscious decision not to grow up? Or if you do grow up, what do you think you would be? Well, that's, what, that's what's interesting. People say, you know, when are you guys going to grow up? But you know what? There's that, that child, that childish thing, that childhood thing, that sense of awe and excitement that you don't want to give up. If, if growing up means you have to lose that, then I don't care to grow up. No. Yeah, mm. I, don't, I don't think I'm a very good adult. I don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was very mature. Actually, I'm getting younger as I age, and right now I just peed in my pants. <laughs> that is inspiring. <laughs> And thank you for sharing that. Most people would not feel comfortable sharing that. Too much information. In front of a camera. Well, what, what would you say, like, what would your advice be to those of us who are still living the reality of an office drudgery scenario? What if, uh, what would you tell someone if they wanted to run off and, and, and join uh, your brand of circuit? I heard you use classes or something. Is this Don't take your life so seriously. If you have an idea, a notion of something you'd really like to do, something that would make you really happy, just go and do it. Don't listen to anybody who tells you not to. Don't start creating your own obstacles about what you think you can and can't do. Just do it. If you fail, you learn by doing it. And if you win, if you do it, you're going to feel so good. Yeah, because yeah. if, you, if you take a project from beginning, middle, end, complete it, even if it sucks, you've done it, which puts you ahead of like 90% of the people out yes. there. Because most people just don't. Mm -hmm. And especially with like technology today, it's so simple. There's no excuses that you, yeah. you can't do, uh, make a movie, do stop motion, because there's so much stuff out there for free on your phone. Yeah, we wish we had the tools that you guys have. Um, you know, I just, uh, it's great to have the support of, of mom and dad. And Super 8, you were doing film editing. I mean, that's not... Uh, you have to... Oh, yeah. You're relying on mom and dad to go buy the film, pay for the processing. Yes. You gotta wait for it to wait come back. Wait for it to come yes. back. And yes. Pray you don't know what you've got until you pray you didn't fuck it up. <laughs> that the, uh, <laughs> that the, the, the uh, projector didn't chew it up. Oh, right. <laughs> chew up the sprocket. Yeah, the physicality of just a sprocket-driven projector ripping those frames after you spent hours animating it. And it's lost forever. It was horrible. Well, and you know, I would always suggest have have a backup in case your dream doesn't work. Mom and Dad were always saying, uh, asking Stephen and I to take the civil service exam for a post office for the post office, just in case it didn't yeah. work out. Learn computers, if I'd only known. Yeah. <laughs> computers? computers had a future. I heard they're going to be big someday. The, you know what? We saw the people, when I was in college at Pratt Institute, I saw the people in the computer classes carrying stacks of cards <laughs> that they were programming. Who didn't, knew? Didn't look like fun. The first game we were playing, the first computer game was Pong. <laughs> yes, but Pong was, was really engaging because you're playing against a human. I mean, they had, I guess, the, uh, the AI, but that, whatever. But yes, you've got a block. Uh, dot, a boy, you're playing against somebody, you know, we had that, just the little yeah, yeah. handball, squash, yeah. tennis hockey. Yeah. That's all it was. That was the first one. In the student union. Everybody was there, <laughs> waiting turn. I have this thought that your working style, this brothership, is kind of like a hive concept, you know, bees working together to collectively make a single focus and project happen. Would you compare yourselves as harmonious bees? Have you always gotten along well, or was there any bickering and fighting when you were kids? You know, I think there's less bickering in a hive. Yeah, they're all mindless drones, aren't yeah. they? The drones do Serving what they're told. the whims of the queen. Yeah. Yes. We don't have a queen here. No. I guess we're all drones, I guess equal yeah. drones, all working really hard to get a common vision. There is no king bee. Does he well, sort of slink away? That's the difference. You're you see, super I, bee. I am a reformed drone. 
And King B is our benign monarch. And it's his commitment to fun and creativity that keeps things on the positive he side. He is the King B. Well, that's just it then. We have a shared vision then. I mean, we have uh, like a King B. He's not really, he isn't one present, but... Uh, More of a virtual. Shared, yeah, there's a shared vision of what we'd like to produce. We each have three different points of view that we meld together to create some content, some art that people that's what, and then that's the that's where the you know although we're very much on the same page of the type of entertainment that we'd like to create creatively we all bring a little different point of view in it and that's where it gets tough because at the end of the day you have to write something down and sometimes there's some disagreements yeah, in and the direction and the diversity of what we do individually though comes from being creative and angle so we've got the art the creative the creative the physical cover in the, the three individuals it's a great balance, and it's the strongest balance of a tripod. Three legs, mm -hmm. three cups. Buzz around, buzz around, buzz around.